a good morning, Turtle Club. Uh, it's uh, right at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, according to my clock at least. And it means it's once again time this weekend for Mag vs. Wild, our solo play of Ark Survival Evolved on the island map. Hey, Pig, Spy, and Isaac's Amazing Adventure. Hello to you guys. We are going back to where we were. Hey, Posh Gamer, good to see you, buddy. And we uh, we hear a little bit of noise on the outside of the the sub base. I guess is the best way to put it. We just hit level 33. We're still looking for that glorious level 38, so we can start getting on our actual pterodon. Hey, uh, Dark Shadow Boss, how's it going, man? Good to see you, man. Uh, let's see. It's in the dark. It's not doing us any good. We got the door still open though. And Mr. High High Number Two. Okay. Lots of people getting number two accounts for some reason these days. All right, it is it is dark, but not really dark in the world of Ark. Sometimes it gets really, really dark. It's uh, just the interesting how with the way it goes. All right, so we were in the middle of I have no clue actually. Oh, we're about to starve though. Look at our food. Wow. All right. So here's Donna, the Pterodon. Biffy and Buffy are little puppy dinos. And so I know we did this right at the end of our last stream session. We usually try to check them and keep up on them. But yeah, uh, second account on your iPad. Oh, okay. Neat. All right, let's get all the way up here. Well, it's still dark out. We'll, uh... Hey, McAdoo, how's it going? So these are working pretty decent. So I see you're trying to get to Legendary 38. Well, you know, it's uh, I wouldn't quite say 38 is legendary, but once you get to 38, uh, the game gets a whole lot easier because the Pterodon just makes it so much easier to travel and pass stuff. Um, but yeah, all right, so... Dodo, we don't need a Dodo. Uh, what we really need is just a way to keep harvesting stuff in the dark. Hey, Kazudo, how's it going, man? Glad to see you there. Who in Kyoma, Kazudo, also known as many, many other words. All right, so here's the base we're working on. I had, I had an idea, like, oh, doing good, McAdoo, doing good. Thank you for asking. All right, so we know this is going to be kind of our our dino ramp in so we can drop off goods hmm it's a good way to get around oh yeah uh on the tarkogon uh, i guess that's the technical term for where i'm at maybe but yeah pterodons are, are really good um for that and they're for someone who's not familiar with this particular map once we get that got your first kiss from a girl you okay um, that's not really what we talk about on this channel. Uh, nice update on the tips there on the top left. Yeah, um, you know, the we're looking at a, a different solution than the getting a second monitor at this point. And it looks like it might help with what I'm doing. Um, I'm still testing the actual the stuff here. Um, still testing some stuff out. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the, the monitor goal, um, it's been up there since like January and it's not really working out at all. So I'm, I'm looking at alternatives. And that's usually sometimes the way it goes about guys. Sometimes we don't get it. Uh, Matt was kind enough to point out that we hadn't hit that goal at all. Um, and we still had like, it was like negative 138 hours or something was the goal timer. Um, so we're, we're regrouping. We're really looking at stuff, guys. And we're getting stoned the easiest way we know how, but it's slow. But, you know, in the dark, it's not that bad. Eventually, we'll get, like, a, some kind of scope or something like that. I don't think we need another one of those, either. Is Alias is in conclude Steve Honkyoma Kazudu because he can't consistently spell Honky. <laughs> oh, Posh, he's got a few more aliases than that, actually. But, you know, people are allowed their level of mystery. 
What would be interesting is if Kazudo's real name actually was Steve, um, you know, like his birth certificate name. That would be kind of, like, creepy in a weird way, though. Digra just picks it up out of a, an actual name that she likes out of a movie she likes. Cup of the day, Posh. We've been kind of rocking the Turtle Cup for a while now. Uh, Zelda Legend. I have played, uh, well, um, if you're meaning, like, this particular save file, um... Like, maybe 20, 30 hours tops. Um, if if you're talking about this game overall, like, since the inception of it being in my Steam library, like, 300 hours. At least 300 hours, I would think, at this point. I could be wrong on that, though. I haven't looked at my Steam library time in a long time, though. Okay, conclude your name is definitely not Steve. Okay, okay. <laughs> a better DSP? Dig Rat Century Perception? Ah, that's kind of funny. Uh, we're about to get in the, uh, we have to repair our torch situation that we sometimes get while we're out and about. Uh, so we got that, we got that. Do we have any flint? Yep, we do. Okay, we will repair this. Bam. But yeah, I've been playing it for quite a while. Um, this particular save file happened after we had a bug. Uh, well, I, I should, I should... Be a bit more specific on that. Um, this particular save file, we played for a couple hours when the server crashed, and then we played. Um, would I play it? The same answer I give to everybody: um, Hyrule Warrior, uh, Zelda Legend. Um, we we uh, we play any games that our community is really wanting to, us to play um, for our main primary game, and we do that through a vote when the new primary game ends. Our primary game right now is Majora's Mask, and so we're playing that. Uh, we don't buy games just because a game came out there. That's a waste of money. Uh, you know, money is not an infinite resource. It's a finite resource, and depending upon your job, it's even smaller. Um, you know, sometimes you're a, a McDonald's hamburger, uh, you know, chef, and sometimes you are a a uh, a voice network analyst, you know, and so that's that's a habit I've had for a very long time, though, is I just don't spend money for the, the fun of it. So, as far as games go, there's a lot of them that I'd love to play, but I'm still getting enjoyment out of all these. Um, we got in the water, and we didn't even need to go in the water, because there's bad things in the water. I have no clue where I'm at, guys. I don't recognize where the water kind of puts up against the cliff. This is usually why I don't go swimming in the dark. That could be something that wants to eat me in the dark. Why am I in the dark? Well, this looks like the way I need to go to get home. There's a good chance, Turtle Club, that I'm going to be eaten alive. It's the only way you can be eaten in this game, actually. See, and that's that's kind of my, my point there. Uh, you know, we, we, no matter what age you're at, minimum wage is a whole lot. I have no clue where I'm at. This is going to be bad, Turtle Club, bad. Alright, somehow I've managed to get back to where I need to be, but... Alright, what armor are you looking forward to getting? Uh... I, uh, I... Uh, yeah, exactly what I was thinking there, Pigs by Piranhas were about to eat me. And not in the... Not in the very polite way, either. They were going to eat me, like, in a brutal way. Um... But yeah, exactly, exactly, Kazudo. That's, you know, it's all about... Kind of... All right, I heard something. Oh, it was a pego. It stole my mejos. We'll let it keep our mejos, cause uh, yeah. But yeah, our uh, our nightbot. We spent the, we spent the last year making sure our nightbot's not over spammy. All of his commands have cooldowns. The things he says are important. They have really good. You know, decent long timers. Yeah. 
get my flint. That was a little rude. We can we can let that. Well, here's an Ovi. Huh. I guess if there ever was a time I was going to kill an Ovi, I guess. Oh, there he goes. All right. But yeah. Uh, can we give you game codes? Yeah, hi, hi. Uh, you can give that in the Discord. If you want to post them for the community, you can post them in your room. If you want to just give them to me in a direct message, you can do that too. Uh, you started streaming late at night. Uh, Zelda Legend, we've been streaming at this time for about three months now. Um, 3 a.m. Every every weekend, uh, Saturday morning, mon Sunday morning, and Monday morning. We've been streaming at that time frame uh, since the beginning of February. So you're going to sell one of your Xbox Ones. Uh, that's You know, if you got two Xbox Ones, that's not a bad thought there, uh, Kazu. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, that's kind of what I did um, recently is I sold one of my 360s. Because I had two of them, and we weren't playing on both of them anymore. I like the fact that the rain doesn't have the giant thunderstorms on it that the, that the island does. Um, so as far as uh, earlier question, what's my favorite arc map? I really love the center map. I really do. I just wish the guys that are building it would get their act together and fix the spawn problems. Is that a moonwalking fish? No, it's a turtle. It's got to be a turtle. It can't be anything other than a turtle, right? I mean, it looks like it might be a plesiosaur. Hey, we leveled up. Sweet. We'll take our level up. Uh, we're at 150 food water. All right, so now we can start working on weight. And it came at a really good time, Turtle Club. Um, no, I have actually just one Xbox One. I had one X. I had two Xbox 360s. Uh, when Digrat and I first started playing Skyrim, uh, we couldn't share. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks, Dark Shadow Boss. Hey, man, you know that's you know that's just the way it goes. Keep putting out content. Keep putting out content. Have fun, play. That's this is the best thing you can do, man. I'm beginning to think I got confused somewhere. That's the red. That's the red arc, though. So that's. I, I should be. I think I may be lost though, Turtle Club. Uh, it might be a slim S, yeah. Uh, you know, Posh, people make typos. You make typos, Posh. I, I can't, I can't even question people on their typos. Man, where am I? I am, I am on, oh, Turtle Club. I am like, what? Okay, I am totally off the reservation at this point. Oh, wrong way. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I I went totally around. I I got to turn around in the dark. This is why you should never navigate, never navigate in the dark. Okay, so because you wind up getting lost like I did. But yeah, I, I really love the center map. It's by far probably my favorite map in the game, but the bug in it that overspawns the the caves just makes it unplayable. So that was, in fact, a turtle. There is a lot of stuff that could have, like, ate us in this water. How we managed to, like, not even get hit by or affected by any of it, I do not know. And see, that, that's a valid reason. If you're in a, a split family, um, or a big family, multiple Xbox come in handy. In my case, you know, with, with Dig Rat, if there's a game that we both really, really enjoy, and we're sharing a lot of our actual time as far as on the clock together, not so much in each other's presence, but just together. Um, gosh, there's so much more rock over here. Ah. Uh, Let's 
so much more rock. All right. Huh. Who is Nightbot? Nightbot is a actual bot. It's a automated artificial intelligence that does everything that I want them to do to help keep the chat in a friendly manner. Oh, there's a piranha. Ah, we might be dying here, Turtle Club. All right, maybe not. Maybe we'll live to fight another day. All right, eat some berries. Oh yes, Dark Shadow Boss. It is one of the things that I love about it. Is this game is beautiful. It is really well designed, really well made um, from the ground to about the middle. Once you get to the top, uh, it kind of crumbles a little bit. There are some advancements in programming that these guys could absolutely deal with. There are a few bugs that they could be squashing. Uh, this is, you know, this is one of those things, Kazu. You know, split families do happen. I uh, I was very fortunate. Oh, he took my medal. Oh, no, no, no. You are not going to get away with my medal. Probably. The, oh, yeah. The dinosaur concepts, the design they have... Everything that they've built into this game is really nicely done. Really nicely done. I, I like how there's small, medium, large. The Thief Rex. <laughs> well, yeah, this thing here, this thing here. He's, he's absolutely been metal weighed down with my metal, though. Ah. Well, fine, be that way. You can have the metal, you can have all the other stuff. Is why I want to support a channel. If not, then if someone mentions his channel, uh, nah, man. Uh, uh self advertising and advertising nightbot. That's that's just a good helpful tool to the community. All right, and let's see here. Now that's what you call. Yeah, exactly, man. The the pegomasticses are are argued to be one of the most annoying dinosaurs in the game. Um, I. Guess this is the direction we got to go. Okay. Our hit points are restoring a little bit, so we're doing good there. See, I thought we was over there, guys. Uh, speaking of Pegomastixes, let's go see. Check this one out. Here's one that we actually tamed earlier. Hey, he's getting stuff. Awesome. Awesome. This one's learned how to feed himself, and we will let him feed himself. We'll grab... Uh, so that, you know, as long as they learn how to feed himself and clothe himself, I, I have no problem with that. And we'll take those Mejo Berries, so if the next one wants to steal them. So I think we have to actually, like, exit the game and come back for the Pegos to actually do that. I mean, look how fast he's gathering stuff. Trying to stay awake to watch the stream? Well, you, you don't have to, Zelda. I mean, you you know, rest is important. We understand that. We totally get that. Uh, let me see here. I kind of want to keep all these, but I, no, I know I can't just carry them all. It's going to be way too long. We'll, we'll drop. We'll drop some wood and see what happens. Can we at least kind of mosey? Uh, nope, no moseying with the wood dropped. Oh, well. Trudons, oh yeah, Trudons are probably really horrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm too heavy. I am double O, triple O, quad O heavy. Alrighty. I'm still waking up a little bit. I, some, you know, Saturdays I uh, I take a nap with, you know, during the day. Or oh, during my day. For those of you that are new to the channel, I work nights. I get up at 6 p.m. I go to bed at 10 a.m., and so 6 p.m. to me is like 6 a.m. to the rest of the you know normal world out there and what they do. All right, that's not a T-Rex. I keep expecting a T-Rex to spawn at some point. Tempting to fall asleep to the stream while lurking, but as you know, you're very bad at lurking. <laughs> uh, what's my favorite dinosaur? Um, my favorite dinosaur is the Argentavius. It's really cool, and when it gets a TLC update, it's going to be really awesome. Yes, I am a flying head. 
sometimes we have green things on stream, like, you know, crackers, and they get to be flying too, like, ooh. But today, I actually was wearing a green shirt, and uh, that means it's, I'm basically a floating head in, like, jazz hands. It doesn't happen often, but other things happen to do that too, like right here, we have the Ninja Turtle Cup, which basically makes everything floating like a ghost. And it's a Mejo Berry still for a Pego. Come on. Come on. I would like you to tame, but you're not going to. Oh, boy, you guys are wanting stuff too? Well, that's just asking too much. I, I don't think I've ever been, like, robbed by that many Mejo or Pegos before. My gosh. Uh, such subtle advertising. Nah, man. Not subtle advertising at all. It's not advertising. I'm not affiliated with anybody except for the guys that made Brick Constructor Portal. Uh, those guys are awesome. Those guys actually gave me a free copy of their game to review. We reviewed, played halfway through. And that's where we left it. Uh, we know that that particular game is a puzzle platformer. And so if we were to play it all the way through... Uh, we were going to pretty much ruin the game ending. Hey, Giggity! How's it going, Giggity Bite? Uh, no, Dark Shadow. We don't do coins. Coins are... They don't add anything to the channel. The coins are nothing for anything, to be honest. There, there are some places that do the coin thing, and they are you know more than welcome to do whatever they want. I got to the wrong base with all this stone. I was supposed to be gathering wood. What's wrong with me? But coin bots are, are just, that's fuss bot. That's actually not even night bot. Uh, coin bots are, yeah. We have, um, they are useless to the people who come to channels, depending upon the way the channel is built, Zelda Legend. Um, however, for streamers that are wanting to quickly, um, I don't want to use the word sellout, so I'm not going to use the word sellout. But if they're wanting to quickly achieve something on their channel, coins are a way to do it. Uh, okay, what's your grandma's yesterday-ish? Okay, yesterday-ish. Uh, yesterday's not an ish thing, Giggity. Yesterday kind of either happened or it didn't. I, I know you and I both believe in some quantum states that are really weird, but that's kind of a... Yeah. Uh, money coins. Oh, like real coins. Like, you know, quarters and nickels and dimes and pesos and all that. Um... Th those, uh, I disagree. Uh, as a as a gamer from the the early '80s, I uh, coins were the way you basically got your game on in the arcade and whatnot. Okay, so we made it here. No thanks to my navigation skills at all. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Stella upgraded. Stella and Alarm are going to be some really buff dodos by the time we we get done with those guys. All right, so put the stone away, put that away. Woohoo, we got we got movement back, Turtle Club. We got movement back. All right, so put that there. Consumables, drugs. Make all the drugs. Hey, Indigo, how's it going, man? How's it going? Not a full 24-hour cycle? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Kazuto. And so the thing with the coins, though, so, you know... I, and again, it's kind of tricky, right? Because there's a lot of streamers that I respect that do the coin thing. And there's a lot of streamers that I don't respect that do the coin thing. Um, but the long and short of it is YouTube decides how popular you should be based upon the amount of people saying stuff on your channel. And so the more you can trick, um, well, let's not use trick. The more you can entice people to put stuff in the chat box the more popular your channel looks according to YouTube's metrics. And so you'll see people talk about it on their stream and in their discords and then, you know, voice chats and all sorts of things that they're trying to break the algorithm. They're trying to figure out how to make the algorithm better. They're trying to, you know, it's all about the algorithm. And I don't feel that way. I personally believe that we should just build a community. Uh, sandbox game. Um... I, I got to be honest, uh, when it comes to sandbox games, I kind of know what they are. I mean, this is, I call this a survival crafting game. Uh, it's my favorite one of them at the moment, uh, as far as just pure survival crafting goes. Uh, as far as this kind of genre, I really like Fortnite State of the World. I think it's top notch. Seeing your 
opinion, the coin thing is just chat full spam. You see, see, but YouTube says it the different way. So uh, you're lost. Uh, be able to, uh, so Electric Boogaloo. Um, <laughs> so Electric Boogaloo is a term used to basically mean it's a sequel, but it's not really a sequel done with a whole lot of seriousness. Um, it's one of those things that happened. Um, okay, I gotta go grab seeds for it, right? Or no, is that actually is that a seedling? Is that actually is that a bugged plant? Is that what I'm looking at? Let's double check this thing. So it's a seedling. Um, okay. So this is fruiting. All right. So I got one. All right, so that doesn't have any seeds in it. See, these all have seeds in it. And I'm, I'm curious why I can't put a seed in that other plot. So there's two there. There's one there. So let's just put the second one here. So, yeah. Uh, so the Free For All Friday says 7th of March. Thank you for catching that. I did not update that. We'll just do that real quick. And that's going to be added to the 17th. Or the 14th, rather. And Drew Benson is no is actually at the top of the Free For All Friday right now because he donated five dollars the other day. So yeah, and they trolled you with four Moo Moo Meadows choices. Oh wow, oh wow, <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, Kazu. Sometimes you get trolled a little bit, you know, and sometimes you just basically own them all in that course. The seventh is on Wednesday and is your birthday. Um, what? Let me double check some things here. Oh, I know what I did. I did really, really, really shaky math. Um, it's the ninth. I, I typed wrong. I made a typo. All right, so ninth. I was. I thought my math was just like you know not updated, but you're right. Let me fix that. This is what happens when you do things live, guys. Is you sometimes have corrections to make. All right. Yesterday on the ARC stream, he was talking about the Crab Pulsar. Okay, got it wrong. Oh, okay, neat. Yeah. All right, so there we go. It's the 9th of March. <laughs> hey, Tipper, how's it going, buddy? Make a role play series. Um, so, Dark Shadow, here's the question, though, right? What do I stop playing to do the role play series? I mean, our main series is Majora's Mask. We could do away with Free For All Fridays, but that's our community giveback series. Um, Saturday and Sunday mornings are Majora's Mask. And ARC is how we play for a lot of our actual communities overseas. This is the most popular game at the moment. Um, as far as RPGs go, um, Zelda is technically an action RPG, so that kind of counts. Um, but... Most role-playing games, as, as oh, we broke that. <laughs> See, that's the thing, guys. You know, I'm not a full-time streamer. I, I appreciate everybody who loves the channel. I really do. But the the long and short of it is, you know, I I have a job. Yeah, I work 50 to 60 hours a week on that. I'm streaming like 24 to 26 hours on the weekend. In three days' time, on a a good weekend, I stream about 26 hours. And there's just, I, I wish I could play all the games, I wish I could stream all the stuff, but I, I gotta sleep, eat, and I do have a family. So that does, I keep running to the wrong base. You can tell, guys, I'm excited about this new base design. I just keep going to it. Gotta go repair our axe. Today's Saturday, right? Well, that depends, Dark Shadow. It depends on where you're at. Right now, it's actually Sunday morning for me. Um, Sunday morning at 3 a.m. is when I started today's stream. Um, but if you're, you know, toward the West Coast, it's still Saturday for a little bit. So it, it all is a matter of perspective on the global scale. All right, let's go ahead and repair this axe. This axe is getting a whole lot of work, Total Club. Put the stones there. Put that there. Let's go ahead and grab this axe back. All right, and let's uh, let's start this forge up because we definitely need to get this wood kind of or this that processed. You're in California, so yeah, uh, where you're at. So that's 2:30, 1:30, So yeah, it's like 12:30 where you at. Yep, Sunday for you too. All right, cool. All 
Oh, and there's a, an auto timeout for Nightbot. <laughs> when you spam a whole bunch of non-characters, Nightbot will get you. Oh, another state that starts with a C. That's cool. There's a lot of states that start with C, but if I remember, Giggity, you're from Colorado. I try to remember where quite a few of the Turtle Club members are, so I get a better idea of what we're streaming toward. Alrighty, boom, boom, boom. Yep, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. But you know, I, I try to keep that in mind. Um, doesn't always work. Sometimes it does. Sometimes my brain does it. Sometimes my brain doesn't do it. Do 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 do. The border of Colorado. In a little bit, we'll also be baking. Uh, we're going to have to farm and harvest so much stone wood and everything for the Behemoth Gates. But we want to. We want to get the Behemoth Gate going. So. All right. I think we can get one more tree, and then we gotta start heading back. Yeah, we gotta start heading back now. Uh, huh, interesting. That's that's true it's just about anywhere over the world, though. You live in the northern, western, eastern mitten of lakes. Oh, that's cool. You know, I bet you it's uh, pretty nice out there uh, overall. Alright, so we are heading back with quite the, the wood haul. I mean, you know, 200 and something. That'll get us some... We're going to stop here to make some wall pieces. We need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wall pieces. Maybe a few more. Alright, we can put that fire out. We can take these. Go over here. Drop that metal bit. Alright. Grab that wood. That wood. I don't think we need that, but thatch. Okay, crafting walls. We need way more fiber than what we have. Okay, let's grab way more fiber than what we have. Craft all 10. 10 might be fair. 10 might be fair. We'll see what happens. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's what I was figuring you meant by Mitten of Lakes, Posh. The, uh, Michigan area is pretty well famous known. Hey, Ryan Teshner, how's it going, man? Glad to see you coming in, dude. Shield of rain snow, it's more like a resistor sort. So, you know, weather, um, weather can do that. Weather can do that. Having grown up in Oklahoma, which is well known for its tornadoes, we, uh, we never actually had one come and hit us. Um, as one what we expect we should. That that for a second got me, guys. I was like, wait a second, that's a big old shadow. Oh yeah, Colorado's got lakes. Just about every state's got lakes. Um, you know, that'd be kind of funny if it did, because this series we started for uh, our Australian viewers. <laughs> if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Actually, I think uh, Indigo D is from Australia, so he lurks. He's also got a. Ah, I'm doing good, Ryan. I'm doing good. Did I not do math? I did not do math. Okay, no math. But that's okay. We're gonna run, jump, pull out our axe, put our axe up, jump again, do all sorts of cool stuff. And when we need some more berries, we'll just go over to our Pegomastics that's kind of running around and grabbing it. Pelican Pond. Evergreen Lake. Ah, oh, that's neat. Pelican Pond sounds like a really cool kind of pond. 
potentially named for the fact that there's pelicans in the area, I'd, I'd presume. You don't really think of pelicans being over in Colorado, though. Oh, okay, Ryan, that's cool. Australian. Welcome to the channel again. Um, we have actually, we have a mod that's in Australia. Uh, I want to say he's in the northern area. I, I forget exactly whereabouts. Uh, walking into the lake is kind of not usually easy. Well, Kazu, uh, I, I know where you live as far as the state goes. At least what you've informed us. And uh, you do have a, a slight tinge of an accent, which matches that. So I would say that that's probably right on, right on target. So we need two more from England. Okay, pick spy, cool. I've always wanted to go overseas anywhere. I mean, just somewhere that's not the United States for a bit. But, uh, you know, there are certain countries, you know, it's like, uh, maybe not there. Oh, Dark Shadow Boss from Japan. That's cool, man. Uh, I, uh, of all the places that I wanted to go, um, England, Germany, and Japan have always been, like, really high up there. Um, until watching The Crown, um, Australia... The, the Netflix series The Crown, uh, which is something that you'd want to be one of our more mature members to watch, I would think. There's some spots that are a bit adult in content. But they do a real good job, in my opinion, um, of showing what the Australian continent looks like and how the culture is extremely diverse over there. So it definitely uh, works out really good for tourism, in my opinion. And, of course, you know, I think it's Danny McBride, the actor. He, he really did really good this year for the Super Bowl commercial. To drum up some interest in it too. Hey, Ducky, let's make your speed go up. When we get on you, man, we're just going to leave everything behind. You're going to be fast transport. That is your goal. That is your job. Your job is to butter toast. Hey, Titans of the Dark, how's it going? Uh, move to Cali, then Germany, then Cali. Oh, that's cool, Dark Shadow Boss. Um, I speak a little bit of German, not a much. I've never left my country either, Ryan. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You know, some people uh, never leave their state or their... Uh, uh, I forget the... Prefecture or, you know... Um, basically, their, what what divides them as far as, you know, maps go. Uh, and some people go everywhere. You know, um, Digrat, for instance, has traveled to far more places than I have. We need two walls. And then we need all the ceilings we can craft. Which looks like it's just one for now. Um, rip. Part German? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'd like to go to Germany. Huh. Ja, do too. Ah, okay. Du kannst Deutsch, ja? Ich kann Deutsch bitten. Ah, Colorado about six times the time went all the way to Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Hey, Mr. Gohan. It's been a while since we've seen you on the channel, man. Part Portuguese. That's cool, Pig Spy. I'm part Native American, part German, part Scottish, part Irish. Um, I'm part a lot of things. I, I kind of definitely embody what America has become is this giant melting pot of culture. Alright, so... Our base is starting to look pretty good for our secondary. 1, 2, 3 by 4, so we need 12... We need 16 ceiling pieces. Part Native American. Oh, that's cool. Are uh, you saying the air is polluted or something? Ha! <laughs> Oh, no. I, I think uh, smoked ham's a pretty good taste. I don't think he's saying anything bad about it. Well, sh oh, awesome. Awesome. All right. So, 60 pieces of wood. We need a lot more thatch. I think we're just going to go into the forest and just start crafting. Currently storming. All right. Well, take care of Pig Spy. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate that, man. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't talk about drugs here, dude. 
Air in Wisconsin has this type of good smell, like a bunch of trees. Yeah, uh, trees, smoked ham, that kind of stuff's pretty good. Get some thatch, because we're going to need that for our ceiling tiles. Alright, and let's go over to our mobile berry bank. Grab that. Give it some... And we're going to go and say uh, behavior and stance. We're going to say passive flee. So if this thing gets attacked, he's going to basically run away and try to get all the way away. Because that, that's, that's our mobile berry bank. And he's going to have so much good stuff for us. Favorite movie was MST3K that was filmed in Gleason. Oh, okay. I, uh... Mystery Science Theater 3000 is such a good show. Um, it, the humor is... Uh, Ham-fisted at times, but other times really nuanced. Yeah, giant spider invasion. <laughs> that would freak out quite a number of our Turtle Club members. We have some Turtle Club members that we did not know had spider phobia. And uh, so there's two out of 16 done. And we just need to start getting wood. And we played a game called Scrap Garden. And it's actually a neat little game. For for the price of it, uh, it was 250 at the time. It's normally 5 bucks. Usually we expect a $5 game to give us somewhere between 3 and 5 hours. So it actually worked out pretty good. Um, but as far as the game goes, it was, it was pretty fun. Uh, we never 100%ed it, but it was a one-shot. But uh, there were giant spiders in the game, and it it freaked a few people out. We had to we had to you know acknowledge arachnophobia on that stream. Uh, three. All right, so we're gonna keep crafting. We got five out of sixteen. We need eleven more. Ha, that's that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, Giggity. All right. And oh, how long am I streaming? I'm streaming until um, 6 a.m. Uh, arc streams go from 3 to 6, and then we will pick back up at 8 after I get some food in me and get some rest. Maybe watch a little bit of television. And stream some Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We'll be streaming that for a buffet today. Uh, so that starts at 8, and it ends uh, depending upon viewership. All right, inventory. And then, of course, Digrat streams tomorrow. She does Digrat Skyrim. Um, that is a more mature audience stream at 7 p.m. Eastern until 8. Don't I get tired? Uh, well, Ryan, I, I do, but I, I sleep from 10 to, to 6, but I work nights. Um, huh. that's that's pretty funny, Giggity. That's pretty funny. All right, let's see. I'm halfway to the 16 that I need. Just going through and buzzing through all the stuff. Over encumbered. Make some ceiling tiles. And we are still doing good on thatch and fiber. We should be able to make all of the ceiling tiles we need with the materials we have. Other than the wood that we are grabbing from these wonderful vertical wood donation centers. I'm cold. Yes, and it's because we lost Oz the Otter. And it's unfortunate. Ozzy the Otter died at the hands of my bad parenting skills. Wood donation centers. Exactly, Giggity. We've come to find your wood, and we want to take it off of you, and then we, you know, shear it off with an axe. Where are we at with 35? What do we get? A scope attachment. Oh. A long neck rifle, and a simple rifle ammo. All right, so. We're going to see where this gets us, and this gets us. 
we're going to be able to craft a lot of rifle ammo. And a rifle. Okay, we're going to have to start harvesting some metal, though, for that. All right, crafting ceiling tiles. Okay, we still got to get some more stuff. And then we're going to have to start working on building all the stuff that we need to make all this work. All right, this should be two more tiles. After that, we just need two more and we'll be done with all the ceiling tiles. And have our guy eat his wonderful steak he's got there. And guys, we're about to get into hour two in about the next 15 minutes. Ah, oh, seeing your, her stream didn't have your... Oh, Dark Shadow Boss. I'm, I'm sorry about that, man. Uh-oh. This thing wants to come and fight us. Same thing we say to every Dilophosaur. Come 1v1 me, man. Come 1v1 me. See what my poking stick will do versus your spit. All right, so, yeah, um, there, there have been a few people that have been grounded from Digrat, um, <laughs> Thor and Loki. Oh, thanks, Titans. I, I like my second base, too, man. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Well, that, that's a goal, man. Uh, Kazuto, man, you got to just figure out what you want to do. I, it's often been said that you will do whatever you want to do. And I mean it, guys. I really seriously mean that. If you want to wake up late, I got some news for you. When you're an adult, you're going to wake up late. There, there's not much to it. You're going to find some reason. You're going to call in sick. You're going to cough. You're going to sneeze. You're going to swear you got some dread disease. You know, you, you things are going to happen. And so you got to realize that when you are an adult, you're, you're going to do whatever it is you decide you want to do. Um... Hello, At, I'll, I'll tell Duck, get over here. At least you'll get the bonus experience. Uh, Ducky, come on. Come on, Ducky. Come a little closer. Well, that's what Ducky thought about that, I guess. Until we get to 38, these guys are just too finicky to position. Yeah, we got the tiles we need. All right. But yeah, man, if you want to go outside of the country, do something to make that happen. Uh, one of the things that I I did not do growing up is I had an opportunity. I was given the option to go tour another country. Uh, my, my grandmother actually gave the funds to all of her grandkids uh, to get a passport and was going to pay for the whole entire trip. And I passed on it. I actually used the passport money for something else. Um, and it was just it. You know, I mean, and that was that was my opportunity. You know, that one moment when they, you know, if you got that one moment, you got to take it, guys. You got to take it. You can't just let it be and settle it down. All right. So do we have any more wood in our inventory? We have some. Is it enough to make some ramps? Can we make a ramp? Now, we need to make two more ramps so we can put those ramps here so we can have our little drive through for our dinosaurs. Um, of course, that one went backwards. Uh, rip. Tilt. Oh, well. Our OCD is going to have to get over itself. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start working on the, the gate so we have a nice little gated kind of community here. You, sir, run away. It's like spurring a horse with his. He will run all the way to the other side of the island for us. Alrighty, and... You, sir, go away, too. Everything you got works hard. For, yeah, man, you know. E exactly, exactly. And you know, uh, Kazuto, so another thing you might want to think about is studying abroad. 
You know, that's something that we don't do much of here in the uh, the U.S. enough, I think. Uh, one of the guys I grew up with in high school, he actually went over to Japan for a whole entire year. So what are you going to do to the base interior? Uh, we're going to really trick it out, Dark Shadows. Um, we're, we are going to put basically everything inside that we need. Uh, we're just getting the exterior finished first. So we can start kind of just turtling up in it. All right. See, it's stuff like this. You know, people go, "Is this is a great game?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's a good game. It's really nice." And then things like this happen, and I'm like, "Well, it's got a couple bugs." I mean, look at this turtle club. I can walk under this tree. I mean, it's it's the root system for the tree. It's right there. You can tell that they basically, they're, they're you know, that's a glitch. And that, that that's probably been reported by somebody. I mean, it fell. It pivoted midair. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he studied uh, a whole entire year in Japan. Um, he actually completed his, um, like, several semesters of college in Japan. He got into a university there. He passed their actual placement test. And he spent 12 months. Uh, he learned Japanese. Um, one of the courses he actually took, funnily enough, was English. One would think, you know, well, he speaks English. So it should have been an easy class. Um, he doesn't like talking about his grade in English class, though. His grade in English class was not as good as one would think he should have had. But, uh, but yeah, he actually he had a good time. He uh, he had a really good time with it. But, um, you know, it just depends. I mean, his, his actual field of study that he wanted to go into, I do not remember. But the school in Japan that he actually attended was one of the best schools for the subject for the courses he went for. Other than English, which uh, almost cost him um, his placement in the school. Um, you know, he speaks English because he's, you know, I mean, he's from America. Um, this his grammar is not as well as it should be. A lot of, a lot of American, a lot of Americans think English is our language. We have a dialect of English, you know. We, we don't necessarily speak uh, what's called the Queen's English. Uh, a lot of the world does. Oh, a trilobite. Oh my gosh, we have to kill this thing in the dark? Maybe not. Oh wow, they don't set on fire. Uh. Where are you running, trilobite? Where are you running? All right, I killed the trilobite. Sweet. Some more chitin, some more silica, some more oil. Oh yeah, that's the stuff that hits right the spot. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. And so that, that's the same thing. That's the same thing, Kazudo. Is you know Americans will do that a lot, and it's it's for two reasons. Uh, it really puts in perspective our country, and for good or bad. Um, I, I want to make sure everybody knows that I'm not just saying, you know, no. There we go. Uh, okay. And snap two to that. All right. So now we have our little dino drive through. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some storage bins here. The skeletal carpet rug is escaping. Yes, it was. It was. Oh, I need two more walls, too. Um... Okay, that we can do. We can do. Dino drive through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, giggity. This is a dino drive through, man. All right. Um, hmm. If the opportunity hits you, you study your subject in another country. And see, you want to start looking that up. I mean, some people, you know, it's not. It, I'll, I'll be straight up honest. You, you, you are hopefully at that age where you still have a couple years before you're 18. You can learn a foreign language. Going to try to get a megalodon. Oh, okay. Cool. I, uh, all right, that's Donna over there, so let's see, we need to make four walls, oh, I'm dehydrated, that's one thing that really weirds me out, I'm dehydrated, I have a water skin, how is it that I'm dehydrated? 
I don't understand. I do not understand. Good luck on the Megalodon, man. Best of luck on the Megalodon. We'll probably start exploring north. We might try to head to the blue after we uh, kind of get this done a bit, guys. All right. We need more. We need more everything. It's the way it works, guys. Just the way it works. Pegomastix. He's over here somewhere. Is he with the seagulls? Aha. You, sir. Oh, gather faster. Cody needs a pony, man. All right. Oh, we didn't, like, put half our stuff away. Uh, oh, we still have... Wait, could I have made the walls? Did I have the materials to make the walls? This is why you should always check your stuff. Um, in Breath of the Wild, you're mad that there's no save file. <laughs> oh, there, there is a save file. There's just not more than one save file. You, you have to kind of... But it shouldn't be a problem, though, because in Breath of the Wild, there's nothing you can't get out of. I mean, there's nothing... There's no branching storyline. I mean, it's not like other games where choices you make will determine what you're able to accomplish. Um... And you can play on Master Mode, and it technically ha is like another save file. Alright, so we can go put those in now. Here we go, running in the dark. That hasn't gotten us lost at all today, guys. Not at all. But you know, even if that's like a, a flaw in Breath of the Wild, even if you really respectfully think that's a flaw... I, uh, can you really be mad at Breath of the Wild for that? I mean, the game is so epic that, like, PlayStation voted it its, it's non-PlayStation game of the year. Uh, here we go, some Triceratops, some more Triceratops. All right, there's Rick. We, we'd lost Rick. Rick, Rip Lightsaber? Oh, yeah, lightsaber is great. I love the lightsaber. All right, so here we go. There's that. There's our box. Inventory, wood doors. There we go. Seven. Oh, rip. Rip, rip. Ah, life is easy. Um, yeah, lightsaber does a lot more than just life is easy. <laughs> lightsaber is just is wonderful. So what we're gonna do, guys, is the the large storage chests. We're going to place them here. I guess I shouldn't have put that there. Son of a biscuit. Oh well. Mecha two thousand. Hello. How are you today? Wild female dodo and. I'll grab some stuff, because why not? I know we were a little on, on the fibers a while back, so we'll just grab some things. Do, do, do. All right, and... Do we have the things to repair this with? We don't. And that's your first warning for backseat gaming. All right, and... So we'll gather some stuff here. Getting closer to this tree. What we really need is to get some stuff here. 
Mag quarter of the day, oh, son of a biscuit. Hey, yeah, son of a biscuit, that's a... Uh, I say that one a lot. I say that one a lot. I know I do. Found out that Demon Hunter says biscuits a lot. That was kind of funny. We had a great time this this Friday, guys. If you ever want to know uh, what playing with Demon Huntress and Heman was like, we did that on Three for All Friday. Two of our actual community members who jumped in for Fortnite Save the World. Um, I need to make one wall tile. And let's see what we need for the large storage bins. Um, all the wood still. Okay. That's great. That's great. Did not see the fact that we needed wood coming at all. Not at all. Uh, Dark Shadow Boss. Like, what do you mean? Like, voice chat? Or are you talking like text chat? Um, I mean, there, there's, there's different chat rooms. I mean... Kind of have to ex distinguish that a little bit better. I'm encumbered. Voice chat? Probably not. Uh, voice chat's only for our actual supporters in the channel. And if you've not donated uh, skill, uh, time with the actual project, or any kind of financial um, or uh, you know item to the, the community, then that's not available. Uh, that's because those people that actually are, are just watching the stream um, don't always have the best um, best interest of the channel at heart. And we had to, we, we used to let anybody talk in voice chat. Um, now we do have voice chat rooms that you're able to chat in. Uh, there are is general chat of course. There is the actual LFG chat rooms. Uh, those are available for anybody to talk in. So you're more than welcome to jump into one of those. All right, so uh, we're not ducking down. Storage. Oh, we don't. I, oh, it's the fiber that we're missing. Interesting. We're used to it being wood. Yes, sir. Skills. So, like the channel icon, uh, for instance. The channel icon has actually been created by Indigo D. Uh, he actually spent a large amount of his time creating the channel icon, taking the concept that I had, and turning it into reality. Um, the actual channel art that you see on this is actually made by a community member named Rekrab. We have another member named Nathrol who's updating the community art for us. Uh, we have one person who's actually uh, donated their time with programming. Um, a couple people that actually do beta testing for the bots and stuff. A number of people donate skills uh, to this particular channel. And so, you know, we, uh, we believe that anything that you have to offer the community uh, beyond, you know, curling up and watching uh, needs to be rewarded. You know, some people put in fan art, and if that fan art is something that we can use for the channel, we absolutely, absolutely will put it in the channel as somewhere we can. All right, so I can make two more of those because I don't have enough fiber. Interesting. But yeah, uh, skill is one of those things. Uh, time. Case in point, uh, as far as time goes, um, we have a member named Opponent's Loyalty and a member that's actually a mod as well named Matt Rayford. Uh, those guys provided a lot of their time going through several, uh, um, like almost 100 videos to get the death count for our Breath of the Wild series. Raxo Buddy, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for popping in and saying hello. I don't know why I'm gathering stuff for fibers. Wait. Is that a, where, where are we in relation to our base? Did I get lost again, Turtle Club? Oh, wow, he's actually there. He is actually there. He is, oh my goodness, Turtle Club. Is this a Bronto or a Diplo? I think this is a, this is a Bronto? How big a Bronto are you? Level 19, oh, female Bronto. Oh my goodness. I... Probably should leave this really, really alone, Turtle Club. 
Yeah, Kazuto spent like uh, two, three hours uh, running through beta testing on the bot with me. Totally understood, Giggity. No worries, man. No worries. Okay, so um, we're going to... Um, wow. That, that dino just laid all sorts of eggs. All right. Put them over... We are so close to encumber. We're going to put some stuff away. Still working on that tune? I appreciate it, Giggity. I really do, man. All right. Put that over, that over, there, that over. Da, da, da. We're going to grab this. Grab those. Grab those. Grab those. Uh, put that away. Crafting. Crank. Craft all 97 O's. Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't say that, Dark Shadow Boss. It's just a matter of time, man. Um, I mean, that's, you know, you you got a talent. Everybody's got some kind of talent on this world. It's just a question of figuring out what it is. And, uh, like, two of the, the latest supporters for the channel, they actually donated games to the channel. And that's, you know, something that people don't always think about is... Well, could I, you know, donate something else? And I thought, like, well, what? Like, what? And they're like, well, I got two download codes for some games that you can play on stream. That works equally too. Uh, one gentleman had a, a trial game um, for Wii U, and me and you dance. Okay, well, dancing's cool. Um, that doesn't. You are correct. It doesn't really equate well into streaming world, but you know, dancing is just one of those things. All right, so we got a big old brontosaurus that we're about to get killed by. I mean, we're gonna try to tame him. I mean, that's just that's just way, way too much of a good opportunity to pass up Turtle Club. Look at that! Look at her over there, just beautiful. I uh. All right, Turtle Club. Here we go. Um, are we missing it? Seriously? There, we'll hit the broad side of the barn. Okay, we got swiped. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you guys are going to... Yeah, oh, yeah. It was killed by Bronny. Oh. We have so many things that are going to die. I am injured. I'm about to die. Ah, oh. totally understand. Totally understand, Kazuto. Ah, oh. respawn at bed. We're about to lose most of our dinosaurs. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're like, let me at them. Let me at them. Let me at them. I will kill that brontosaurus. I will make that brontosaurus regret being alive. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that, that that is unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Everybody out of the water. Everybody out of the water. Let's review what happened. Uh, my type of music? Uh, giggity. Chill step, man. I, I'm a chill step listener. All right. Okay. Uh... Terry, are you, like, under the Brontosaurus corpse? You are. You are. Okay, we got to get the Brontosaurus corpse out of the water real quick. <laughs> Alright, let's get you out of the water, buddy. Alright, 
so we need to get these cooked like ASAP. Throw these on this beautiful, beautiful grill. Chill stuff would be kind of tough to pull off on. Oh, okay. Okay, way cool, man. Glad you're up for the challenge. And while that is cooking, going to completely rebuild the old tune from scratch. Oh, sweet. All right, so... So what we need to do, we got we got these storage boxes that we just built. Here is some prime meat. It'll expire in a bit. Um, inventory. Grab that prime meat. This prime meat should cook pretty soon. Uh, eh, the armor's not really all that important at the moment, Dark Shadow Boss. We we don't do a whole lot of combat at the moment. We're still doing like base building, so it's it's not all that important. It's just uh, for you know, if we was doing PvP, it'd be a little bit more important. If we were focusing on on hunting certain animals, absolutely. But it's not really um, something that's necessary at the moment. That and the area that we're at lends itself to not needing as much armor as far as temperature-wise goes as well. All right, so. But if those, uh, if those, all those facts weren't true, we would absolutely be doing the armor thing. All right, so we got some meat for the bin. We'll put the meat in the bin. We'll drop those, drop those. We need to drop them silica pearls. We need to put the oil away as well. Okay, and put the fiber away. That was a lot of leather. Look at the leather we had for that guy. Okay, we'll put grab these in our inventory. Weren't we able to make another one? And we'll put half of them arrows away. We don't need them. We really actually don't need any of the arrows right now. Crafting, storage, thatch, and wood and fiber. Fiber. Yeah, all right. Storage, one more. I think five is what we can actually max out at. Okay, hold ton of kind of Paris. Okay, that, that's interesting. We want to make one wooden wall because we're going to have to replace a wall to do this. And we'll grab that with us. Mm hmm. Transfer that. Uh, I hate the fact that the D button is the fast transfer button. I always don't push it right. Transfer, transfer, transfer. There we go. And that's the last of Dark Shadow Boss. We tried to be polite. We told other people that they had warnings for backseat gaming. And... Um, can't be respectful, then bam. Yeah, the Bronto would have... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, McAdoo, I know. The the Bronto was... I was happy to see that. But uh, he, he, he tell-swiped everything. I I forgot his actual modus operandi was tell-swiping. All right, so we're going to destroy this wall. We're going to go here. Level up available. Sweet. All right. Okay, so we got enough room for like one more. They're not perfectly lined up, but you know what? They're good enough for me. And we'll be able, so we'll be able to wrap on a dyno here. And we'll be able to take the stuff off and put it in the bins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it does that. That's kind of, it's a, it's, it's shtick there. Um, it's just kind of fall apart like that. And over here, we'll have like a food preserve bin. And over here, we'll have another food preserve bin. So all of our storage will be kind of like right here, guys. And we leveled up again. So we'll absolutely take that level up. And we'll put that into weight. 
Level 36 gives us access to the almighty powerful large crop plot. Okay. A beer barrel. You know, we can do beer barrels. They take thatch, water, and berries. It's, it's pretty spiff. The wall is affected by the KSV crank and hit. <laughs> Uh, not quite, but, but close. All right, let's see here. Can we make it in a storage box? Probably not. What do we lack? Wood. Everything. Okay, so we'll go grab some fiber because we know we can grab some fiber out of this bin over here. Bit wooden thatch. Don't put the walls up. Hey, AC bro, how's it going? Okay, storage. We need just thatch now, just thatch now. And is that enough thatch? That's not enough thatch. We need 35 thatch. Um, but can we get that thatch out of here? We can. We will. We just won't comment on what this particular storage box smells like, guys. It might smell funny. Oh, see, bro, I love this game too, man. It's the reason why we play it every weekend. Uh, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we play Ark Survival Evolved. We play on Sunday mornings, Saturday mornings, and Monday mornings. All right, that's that. And then... Um, here we go for that. See, there's just a bit of a gap here, but we can't get the other box there, so. Alrighty. And we can see the sun come in, which is really important for some base building, because you kind of got to know when the light comes in. Yep. Uh, that's uh, it's something I've done a couple times with McAdoo, is uh, the loadout ramp. Because it just, it makes it so much easier. So much easier. Because it's like, you're over encumbered, you go over here. Yeah, I think I built it backwards. Uh, uh, we're doing a, a base build, see bro? We're doing a base build. We're wanting to, alright, so now, when because you always dismount to the right, usually. So now we just grab the seeds. Come down here, and here we can actually put the seeds in here, like this, guys. And when we get into the base, we can get into our seeds on here also. So we're going to rename this one. This is going to be gardening. Garden stuff, because my brain doesn't want to spell gardening correctly, and I know it. All right, so and of course that went backwards too. Oh well, we can't win them all, Turtle Club. Our OCD has to give up sometimes. All right, and this is going to be rename crafted. And that way when you're done, you're ready to go back and regain stuff. You just come over here. We're going to have like a behemoth gate like right here probably. So I'm going to grab all the pre-crafted stuff, I'm going to grab all of the seed stuff, the gardening stuff, I'm going to move it over. Oh, we have something desperately trying to run toward us. Get away from the small shops. Alright, come on. <laughs> Dead. Uh, do I suggest any games like this? Well, Ark is great. Um, uh, you know, I'm kind of playing it, so you know I'm going to suggest Ark. 
Uh, as far as other games like it, it depends upon what kind of genres you like in general for me to be able to make suggestions. Um, yep, we have one corpse that was not found. That's because of these dudes over here. All right. Once more with feeling, guys. Wow, we were just one spear hit away from killing those things. Okay. What do you need to eat? Medjo Berry. Okay, sweet. And we'll call this uh, Davy. Davy the Moth Shops. Hey, Davy. Are you actually male? Yeah, you are. Sweet. Zombie first persons? Well, see, bro, I would recommend Seven Days to Die. If you like uh, this particular kind of genre and zombie stuff, man, Seven Days to Die is probably the best in this particular genre. Uh, view harvesting levels. Oh, wow. How does his harvesting work, I wonder? Harvest settings. Enable victim item collection. There we go. What else you got? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and... Uh, come here. Come here. Okay, how do we make him do what we want him to do then? <laughs> what is it like? Do you die in seven days? Uh, yeah, you do die in seven days to die a lot, uh, like any other game. But seven days to die, it's a zombie apocalypse game. It's survival crafting. You run around grabbing stuff and building your base. Every seven days, to, though, on seven days to die, though, you wind up um, getting attacked by a horde of zombies. Think kind of like the uh, the walkers in The Walking Dead. What's going on here? Uh, oh, that's when I died earlier. Okay. That's the corpse it was talking about. Come back over here, moss choppies. Come on. Come on. Here, Davy. What's in your inventory, Davy? You have nothing in your inventory. Uh, you eat meat, I think. You sure do. Uh, you'll get all that meat you want. Okay, so drop that. Drop that. Put my hat on. No, Davey doesn't need the hat. But yeah, it's all about building that base. Uh, um, I don't know. I, I bought it back when it was like $15 for two players. So I think it's like maybe 10 bucks, which is actually pretty good for the genre. Um, and it's actually pretty cool, man. It's actually pretty cool. I, I really recommend it. Um, I don't play it on stream because it's not um, family friendly. There is some nudity. I mean, you are talking about zombie corpses that have been attacked and things have happened to them. So, yeah. Okay, all these copies coming over here. All right. So you have to do something, man. If I, if, I mean, come on. Oh, I didn't mean to stab you, man. You got awfully close. Come on. Are you just not wanting to kill these things? Or eat them? I mean, don't you... Don't you... Okay. I have no clue how Davey works right now, guys. Other than he dances. Okay, is your stance... Um, behavior. Stance attack your target. Okay. $15? That's, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Uh, I, I think it's worth 15 bucks. But it, again, though, it really depends on if you like this particular genre. Um, if you are okay with more cartoony stuff, I recognize Fortnite Save the World, but Fortnite Save the World is 40 bucks. And it's between the two, I consider it the, the better game overall for fun reasons. Does he just not want to eat the corpse? Is that what's going on?
But yeah, the Zombies are your thing. That's definitely one of the better games out there. All right, so we definitely got sidetracked a bit, guys, with this poor Moss Chops that was being totally ganged up on by Dilophosaurus. All right, so let's go back to our Ingrams. Oh, wow, we have 91 points. Um, don't think there's anything we really want to craft. Hey, Nesky, how's it going? I have a gaming PC. Do you? Yeah. Oh, see, Brig, uh, if you do exclamation PC, it'll tell you, uh, Nightbot will tell you what my actual specs are. It's not a, a super awesome gaming computer, but it's pretty good. Behemoth, Stone Dinosaur Gateway, we got to get all that for the Behemoth stuff. But that's what we're doing on next now, guys. Is um, How much weight can you carry? Not much. Oh, wow. You gathered other stuff? You're harvesting other things? Okay. We, 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 we really think you're pretty cool, man. Uh, Davey, harvest away, buddy. Harvest away. All right, so time to get some tree stuff here. Because we know wood is pretty quick to... Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm playing on, Seabro. It's a... Uh, you know, it's not a bad, bad rig. Um... Now, when I tell you what I paid for it, you may uh, you may actually be jealous. I only paid six hundred bucks for that rig. It was like uh, after warranty and everything, it was like eight hundred dollars. This was back before the cryptocurrency thing just went nuts, though. So you got to keep that in mind. When I when I bought that, the uh, the ten sixty card was only like three hundred bucks for the six gig. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, that sounds about right. I mean, for a really good high-end gaming PC, you're going to look at two grand. For a, a nice, uh, just serviceable PC these days, it's like 800 Um, I think I may have lost Davey. Davey, Davey, where the heck did you go? We're going to have to find Davey now. Can't help, never use the moss shop. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. No worries, McAdoo, no worries. I'll, uh, it's one I'll just have to read up on. Uh, the fact that the gathering stuff is pretty cool, though. The fact that it's gathering more than just berries is actually what makes it cool. It makes it actually a step above Pegomastics, in my opinion. Alright. Um, you play Rust? Okay. Well, Rust isn't a, a horrible game. Um, it's just not one that's family friendly. The community is toxic. Um, it's the way it goes sometimes. All right, let's see here. I really don't want to craft anything. I really don't want to drop anything. Oh well, we'll just have to slow bullet, guys. Slow ride, bay watching. Uh, and PUBG. I've played PUBG a couple times. Not my kind of game. Not my kind of game. I played Battle Royale. Not my kind of game. I mean, and it's it's basically a direct clone of Rust with or a PUBG with some extra stuff added to it. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle walking that that far, that long, that slow. I wanna go fast like Ricky Bobby. All right, let's see here. Let's turn on our Dino Finder. Hey, I hear him. Hey, Davey, you made it. What all you got? What all you got? Nothing more, but you get some hit points. There's you some hit points. All righty. It's kind of like League of Legends. You know, there's a lot of people that play League. There's a lot of people that think it's great. I, uh... I, I don't play games to be told get good, you know. You gotta be you gotta be a pro at this game before you can play this game. Well, that's that's just completely stupid. I got news for you guys: becoming a professional at something doesn't happen just by waking up.
You are tired. You should stop running like a chicken with its head cut off. Um, trying to reach level 38. Uh, that's kind of the way it goes. Uh, 38 would be good. But, you know, I'm just trying to play, man. I'm just trying to play. All right, let's do. Okay. All right, we can just park him there for there. Hey, Josh, how's it going, man? So we got, let's see. How much wood do we have? We got 240 wood, so yuck. All right. Um, what else does it take for the gateway for the behemoth? Oh, we got to craft it in the in the thing, anyways. Craft behemoth. Did I learn it? Yeah, I, I thought I learned it. Um, crafting. B E H no. Oh uh, wait, we got it over here, duh. Alright, it's a uh, thatch, so we gotta go gather a whole mess of thatch too. Oh yeah. Uh, we are family friendly, C bro. We are family friendly. We actually try to keep the language clean. We try to play nice. Now on Sunday nights we're not family friendly. Uh, Sunday nights my wife Digrat plays and she plays Skyrim, which is a non family friendly game. And she does uh, have adult language. And it's actually all over the actual stream. So anyone who doesn't realize that when they come in have uh, have no excuse. I mean, it's actually on the bottom of the actual stream window. It says it's intended for adult audiences. So, Alright, so we're just going to get up to... We should be able, I would think, as far as thatch goes, we should be able to get to the, the thatch level we need in one pass. We need 1,350 thatch to make the gateway. Okay... And the Behemoth Gate was going to be one of those things that's a little hard to, to install um, and make it look right, but I'm up to the challenge, I think. Yeah, he's still gathering away. Gather away, little dude. Gather away. He just And these guys, the real cool thing about those things, even though they're annoying and they're, they're a pain, uh, they will gather... Um, so many berries. So many berries. Hey, Foxy Fun Time, how's it going? Thought oh, I saw something in the water for a second, I guess not. Does Digrat play with mods? No, Digrat does not play with mods. Um, that's one of the things that we're big on on Seabro is we think that when you see a streamer playing a game, uh, we are. We're kind of endorsing the game. I mean, when we play a particular game, we're, we're talking about, you know, this game, this game, this game. Here we are, this game, this game, this game. And so, Digret and I, we have no problem playing with mods off stream. But on stream, we play with them usually. Oh, you're fine, fun time? No worries, no worries. You know, life is what happens when we play other, you know, other things. All right, so there's three, six, we're getting there. Plays all three of those games, PUBG, Rust, and League, but they do not interest you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I could do on that, you know. And I don't have a problem with Skyrim. I've, I've played the snot out of Skyrim. I've actually played two characters for well over a couple hundred hours on the Xbox 360. Um, I played a, a stealth archer, and I played the, uh, the holier-than-thou paladin. He was all about sword and, and mace. 
blunt objects, shield bashing, and healing. Uh, of the two, the more interesting one was the Paladin. Uh, the more effective one, though, was the Stealth Archer. The Stealth Archer is just way overpowered in that game. But yeah, on, when it comes to games like this, though, to kind of dovetail back to that, Seabro, um, we believe that playing a game without mods is one of the best ways for people to see what they like about a game and to enjoy it. No one really likes going home after, you know, a long day and installing a game and having to update it for, like, you know, two hours on really poor internet service. And then afterwards find out that the game that they were playing isn't what they were watching on stream. So we tend not to, to stuff that. Um, fun time, we're building the new base. Uh, right now we're getting all the materials for the Behemoth Gateway. And it takes like uh, 1350 on thatch, stone, and wood. So we're actually getting 1350 thatch, stone, and wood is next is what we're doing. Oh, yeah, see, bro. And, you know, a lot of people do. Um, a lot of people come in, though, and they have this habit of saying, well, you need to play this game. Or they don't even say, you know, a real game we recommend is this particular game. They just say stuff like, play this game. At, you know, in a demanding kind of way. Or they say, play this mod in a demanding sort of way. And it just... It's one of those things that... Uh, it, it's, it's backseat gaming, and we don't really care for it. But a lot of people tend to be cool, but then they're not. All right, so... Gathering some thatch. Inventory. All right, we got all of the thatch we're going to need, so that's awesome. But uh, we can hold more. So I'm going to... I kind of want to hold more thatch, but I really need to start gathering some wood, so. Alright, and... There's a ground shaker. All right, see, bro, we'll be here, man. No worries, dude. We stream until 6 a.m. on this particular stream. So you got another hour, hour and a half, give or take. There's a mod that makes it so you can boost movement speed on flyers. Uh, well, <laughs> fun time, it really doesn't, right? Um, we have no flyers. So... Number one. Number two, the uh, the actual classic flyer mod is one that Arc hasn't really said that they're against, but they're they're basically against it. And so that's you know kind of the way they go. Um Now, one second, guys. Some sort of weird thing going on here. Please take Dodo Kibble and you need two more levels to get the saddle. Yeah, yeah. Two more levels, we'll get the saddle. We've already got two Terras um, tamed. Fun time, so... It's... You know, we have them already. Uh, it's not a question of needing to tame them. We've been leveling them up since, like, level 20 or something on this game. God, we're so slow. So slow. That's an OV, okay. All right. Here's Biffy. 
That's Buffy. My bad. Here's Biffy. Here's Davy. Vera Martin. Hey, C bro. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Hey, Tiger. How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, Tiger, man, I was confused, dude. You were talking about something like being supporters only or something. I, I have no clue what you're talking about. We, uh, we don't do a supporter only, sponsor only kind of thing. The, the only thing we do is the, the voice chat is, is that way. But that's specifically for, you know, reasons. All right. I should have actually looked how much wood we had before I got out here. Because now we're going to be like in the dark again. And last time we got lost in the dark. And there's some pretty... Uh, welcome back, Zebro. Uh, sorry, I missed that, man. Um, there's some pretty interesting dinos that spawn in this area, too. I mean, we just had a, a brawny that we wound up getting killed by. We've had a couple that we've gotten killed by. We got killed by a back of dilos. This is mobile layout. Looks like you know Chad is a sponsor. Oh, that's weird. That's super weird. What do you think is unfamily friendly games? Uh, basically anything that has a lot of adult language in it, uh, um, nudity, um, any kind of excessive drug use, anything that has um, human on human violence for like murderous rage kind of situations. Those kind of games basically aren't something that all ages are able to process equally. Um, so anything that's basically rated M for mature usually falls into that category. Things that are rated T for teen usually are okay. Um, it just depends upon why they're rated T for teen, though. Put up your difficulty on one point, which is max, and it makes the dino spawn higher and makes the loot drop better. Oh, that's cool, fun time. I've, uh, you know, there's there's a few things that you can you can slide for that, but you know, again, we're trying to help um, new players kind of get a feel for it. Uh, I don't know which direction I'm facing. That might be a problem in just a few moments. Okay, we're going to be facing that direction right there. Awesome. So this is the direction we need to go to get to our base. And we are almost encumbered. So we'll call that. You play Grand and you're 11? Okay. Oh, GTA? Yeah, GTA is definitely not a family-friendly program. Fun time. It's a... Uh, it's not an all-ages game. It's something that we have a copy of Vice City. We would be able to play it. Um, but it's not one of those things that my nieces and nephews need to be exposed to. Uh, not until they're of age. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we do family-friendly programming on this channel. Is I have three nephews. Uh, Seabro, yeah, I have heard of The Forest. It's a game that would not be considered family-friendly. It absolutely would not be considered family friendly with the content it has. Um, but yeah, so so those kind of games, you know, those, uh, you know, when you have a, a, a five year old nephew, you don't need to be explaining to him the content of Grand Theft Auto. It's not something that you need to make an enticing lifestyle to a, a child. Um, why is it not? Um, the forest has a lot of of things that fill the criteria that we just discussed. Cannibalism is definitely one of those things that fills the uh, stuff there. And Tiger, this is correct. I mean, parental guidance uh, for certain games are expected. And so, but, you know, 
we are we are slowly freezing to death. We need to build us a fireplace. Can we build us a campfire in our new digs? No, we need to start a fire over here. We need to, it has gotten desperately cold out here. Am I even wearing my hat? I'm wearing my hat. Okay. Um, potentially giggity, potentially. Uh, yeah, precisely, Tiger, precisely. All right. So here's the first night we're gonna have to stand by the fire, guys. When when the environment starts to get a little bit like this, we gotta start thinking a little ahead. All right, and hide. Mm, we got the points for it. All right. New to the candle was man on man combat and more. Yeah, see, bro, uh, we were trying to avoid putting that in there in the t chat text. Um, so we'll just go ahead and remove that. And since we're here rocking this fire, we'll actually throw some food on it. Okay. 11 years. See, you know, we, we do have some young people on this channel. And we are we are not, we are by no means anybody's guardian. No problems, man. You know, we, we try to keep the topics... Um, steered clear of that kind of stuff as best as we can. We understand those things get discussed. And we, we're not we're not silly guys. We we do know that that's some things that people talk about inside our chat rooms. But that's people that have already come in and, and are part of the community and that kind of thing. All right, so let's see here. That's going to take. Um, all right, so I think we have enough to make one of each. Yep, we do. Okay. All right. Got all these crafted now so we can equip them all. Um, well, let's actually get to where we can equip them. All right, so take that out. Put those over. Well, we tried. Take those out. Now move them over. All right, so we get, oh, have we, we filled it up. We can't move the thing over. We are totally capped here. So we're going to have to take some of our materials. Uh, let's take all this flint. That's not going to be needed for anything. The fiber's not going to be needed for what we're trying to make, our behemoth gate. Uh, we know that's going to be needed, that's going to be needed. The keratin's not going to be needed. The hide's not going to be needed. Chitin's not. That fiber's not. 13 you can make wooden knives. Oh, oh cool. Way cool, tiger. Uh, I need to drill a hole. Oh, nifty, nifty. Alright, so. Grab that. So we're going to start moving some stuff in the dark, basically, guys. Have I banned for stuff? All the time, Zebro. We keep our community as clean and as family friendly as we can. And anyone who violates the rules, violates the, the way the channel's built, um, especially if they know the rules, and I recommend asking Nightbot the rules by doing exclamation rules. They're also posted in the description for the video. Um, anything that Anyone that violates that, depending upon the violation and how long they've been here, um, usually it's a warning and then afterwards it's an out ban. All right, so rename large box. We're going to name this wood stuff. And we have no wood stuff. 
And we're going to rename this uh, plant stuff. And that's going to go there. Rename box. Animal stuff. I know these are real specific descriptions, guys. <laughs> And this right here should be our last one. We'll rename this one, and this will be Rock Stuff. And these get moved over. All right. Hmm. Uh, what's the most I've ever had donated? Um. Uh, that's a good question, C bro. That's a good question. I want to say 250 was the highest donation, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's see your filter. Donations. Uh, I'm incorrect. 222 was the highest donation we ever received by Shadow. Um, other than that, uh, Curse Mike Gamer and Mobile Gamer all had 100. Um, let's see here. A guy named Shadow99 had, had an amount of... Shadow Ninja 98 had a super chat for 100. Uh, we received a super chat for 50 from Eric Peterson. I mean, we, we received some pretty high numbers. Uh, for people that want to actually contribute to the, the channel. Some people, you know, they uh, contribute other ways. We get time and skill donated as well. Uh, sometimes we get gifts like uh, WGNF Tiger. He's donated the game to the channel. Uh, that's why he's one of the supporters in our Discord. And we keep most of that information as far as uh, our channel stuff, uh, our, our income and all that. That actually gets posted inside our Discord. We have a an actual community section on our Discord where where donations are posted as far as what we do with the money. Yep, exactly. Giggity's making song. You know, it, it's it's not all about the money, guys. It's not all about the money. A lot of people think it's about the money, but over I would say over a, a quarter of our actual supporters in our Discord um, have got there without money. Um, definitely a higher level than you if you use metal and some power tools. Yeah, uh, Giggity's uh, really good at what he does, man. He, he's done some crazy stuff. Um, he's, he's also shot himself a few times, so keep that in mind. You do it for fun. Titans, you know, people do that. People do that. You know, um... We, we've had a couple people donate money to the channel, and I'm like, man, you, you, you didn't have to do that. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, and then the the turnaround on it is like, well, we're just doing it because we, we like what you're doing. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so actually, we, now it's getting daylight out. We can go back to getting some stuff. Yeah, Dark Shadow Boss One. Um, I, 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 uh, I thought that might have been you, man. I thought that might have been you. Congratulations. That's pretty much the. Uh, you came in the exact same time we banned somebody. You started talking about stuff. You started poking things. And then you try to make yourself look good by saying that you donated a whole lot of money to somebody else that doesn't even have any programming on their channel. So that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny, man. Well, see, bro, thanks for being a, a troll. And thanks for making me feel no longer feel bad about banning Dark Shadow Boss 1. I was conflicted for a second because he'd been on the channel for a while, but you pretty much proved your, who you are in your true colors. And guys, this is, you know, this is what we deal with sometimes on these late night streams, apparently. 
since the community is the, the smaller community, you know, it is what it is. All right, so we're just going to keep gathering some stone guys, and we will get this base built eventually. And, you know, that's the way big bases like this tend to be. Yeah, a couple of you guys are working on a tune. And don't worry about it, guys. If, if, if we get two tunes, we could do like an intro and an outro and all those kind of things. We, we have no problem with all that. We can even do intros and outros for specific streams if it comes to it, guys. So don't worry. We are getting where we need to be. We are getting where we need to be, guys. Look at this. We're we're almost gonna get to 200 stone. We still got we still got some room left. We still got some room left. You're saying base. Your where are your uh, at, yes, um, so that's that's a good question, Titans. Um, we really we're gonna we're gonna make actually a uh, a fence pin kind of thing going. Oops, where you at? Where you at? Oh, die, die, die! Unblind me, please, game. Whenever you want to. But yeah, we're gonna make a, a fenced in area for for a lot of the teams. We're potentially gonna be making a a two gate stage thing. On top of the base, we're probably gonna have a section for the flyers. Uh, Tiger's got a Mac, so he can use GarageBand, which is actually a really good music program. Get some metal, because we're going to have to repair this. Wait, is that another stone? Oh, wow, it like spawned underneath her feet or in the same rock. Uh, GarageBand? Oh, Giggity Bite. GarageBand's actually pretty good, man. Um, it's, it's, uh, max specific and it's, uh, it's really good. It's, it is, um, way more advanced than what I'm able to use. A stone in a stone. Yeah. It's like one of them little Russian nesting dolls. I forget the proper term for them, but it's kind of what it was like. That looks like a Dilophus are coming up. It sure is. Die. I dropped my weapon. Whoa, how did that happen? Oh, we got double teamed by uh, one of these things. Oh. Give me back my raw meat, you Ichthyronis. I know you're about to come back after me. Come on, I'll come at me. Come at me, man. All right, take care, Tiger. Take care. Going to a scouting event. All right, cool. All right, one more. Boom. Thunk. That's what I thought. Little bird tried to come out. We had we had to stop it. We had to stop it. <laughs> oh wow! A sauropod. Okay, so that must be from the Bronto. Wow. 
Well, Terry, you, uh, at least you got me something good off that brontosaurus. All right, Davy. Oh wow, Rick's got some seeds we can go ahead and use to craft. Let's go over here get some meat. Oh, the spoiled variety, and get that off of him too. And you can keep everything on you. Oh, that's the OV. Okay. All right, so we're going to drop these stones off. We're going to fire up the grill of epic metal cooking. Drop these in there. Make the narcotics. One stream we watch received over 10,000 in donations from one viewer. Uh Oh, Macadoo, that, you know, so that's cool. I have no problem with giant donations like that. Uh, one thing that I am really um, hesitant, I guess would be a way to say it. Let's see here. Can we make bullets? It's actually rifle ammo, I think, is what it is. Yeah, we can. Uh, we can only make 15, though. Is it because of the metal? It's because of the metal. Yuck. Uh, gun. Rifle, actually, is what we're looking for. A rifle. We need far more metal to make rifle. Okay. But some people will do what's called donation trolling. And I, I'm i just going to leave it at that. Because it's one of those things that I don't think I need to explain so people can figure out how it gets done. Magnus may come as shocker, but a few years ago you actually tried your hand on farming. Yeah, that's... that's you know, I could see you doing that, Giggity. You're, you're very salt of the earth at times. Um, nothing wrong with farming. I, I wish I could... Actually, we need to take them out. Uh, now that I think about it, because we got to build us another food trough. Trough. Takes raw metal. Ah. Rip. Okay, so... Crafting... Smithy. We don't even have the metal for that yet. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take the seeds. Let's let's take these and that and that because those are animal bits. We got a place for those. We'll take the arrows because those are crafted. We'll take that because those are crafted too. That. All right, we get these into the base. Well, not that over encumbered. But why are we over encumbered? Because we have some stuff that we didn't need to bring with us. Oh, okay. Rip. Okay. The plant actually survived in your room. Okay. Huh. Well, transplanting a plant is rather hard, giggity. Um, it is one of the more difficult things to do. It is one of the more difficult things to do. Um, inventory. Huh. I'm not ready to tame one of those yet, I don't think. You can go crest? That's cool. I uh, I can grow mold. I mean, that, that counts, right? Right? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Crafted wood stuff, which is thatch and wood. Plant stuff, which is fiber and seeds. Well, actually, that's garden stuff. Seeds go into garden stuff. And as do fruits and things like that. Uh, let's see here. Let's actually change plant stuff. Now we won't. We won't change plant stuff. It'll still be plant stuff. Okay. Animal stuff, anything that we get out of an animal. Rock stuff is this, and this, and this. All 
All right, so we got all that moved over. And now we got more stone that we got to gather and more wood. I think we got to get both. Um, that's not how you spell that. So, <laughs> we need hide. Ugh. Let's go get some hide real quick. Not from the other base. We'll just go kill something. Taught how to grow it in science. Well, that's, uh... You know, funny that's an April Fool's joke, but cool that they taught you how to do it. That's important, Tiger. I mean, skills like that are going to pay you off in the long run a lot more than other skills. Okay. And so we'll put that there. We'll put that there. We'll repair our axe. Alright, so one, two, three, four. So we need like a lot more stone. And one, two, three, four, five, six. We need a lot more wood. Ha! <laughs> Oh, giggity. It's not as impressive as one would think. It's not as one as one would think. Last time you saw any type of mold here was about two years ago. Uh, okay, mold's usually not one of those things that people are proud to, to grow. But, I, you know, I can grow it. It doesn't take much. I just forget to put things away. Oh, leveled up again, guys. Leveled up again. Um, so we're going to up our weights some more. And we are at 37. We are getting closer and closer. Chitin. Uh, huh. Don't think we want to actually burn our points on Chitin at the moment. All right. And we're going to go fill up our water flask. We're going to need some food. We're going to get some drink going in the water here. Come on, get close enough for us to drink. Oh, it's raining. Duh. I have heard about donation trolling, but it turned out to be real. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, okay. Twitch. Uh, well, Twitch can be canceled if they're using something like Streamlabs. Um, but if they're actually going through the Twitch interface, McAdoo, it, it's not. All right. Carbo enemies. Carbonomies. We got some chitin. All right. So now we're going to, well... Inventory, getting some wood still. Uh, Bopo stop, man. Ark is what you're looking at, man. It's a survival crafting game. Alright, we're encumbered, so we gotta... We either slow it out, or we can... Drop some of the wood... Where are we at? We gotta get like... Uh, I think we dropped this one. We might be okay. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the survival crafting game, Bopo Stop, it's a... Uh, <laughs> that's alright, man. Um, survival crafting basically means that you... Uh, you ever play Minecraft? 
if you've played Minecraft before, a lot of nine-year-olds play Minecraft, so that's not outside the, the realm of possibility. It's basically like Minecraft, but there's dinosaurs instead of creeps. Slowly walking toward the base in our leather stuff. So there you go, man. Basically, what you're looking at here is this is Minecraft with dinosaurs, and you actually can tame them and stuff. Like, this is a pterodon. Uh, we named it Terry the Dawn because we're, we're funny like that. Uh, there's our uh, Carbinemies, which is a turtle. Uh, I'll name it Altilda instead of a tilde or, you know, Waltzing Matilda. This is Davy, our little Iguanodon Moss Chomps thing. Not truly an Iguanodon, but bit close. Close. Alright. Oh, there is a Dodo that's deposited an egg down there. Uh, was a Pterodon? Uh, more commonly called a Pterodactyl. It's a flying dinosaur. Alright, so... That, 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 that. And we probably got all of the metal... Um, yeah, we got all that. We can actually put all that out and move that over here. Okay, put that in there in case we need to repair some more stuff. So, all right, we got the nine, so we need a few more. Uh, one of these things, man. You see it flying there? And flying here? I mean, they're, they're basically uh, bat dinosaurs almost. Whoa! This is oh, this is our this is our dinosaur ducky that died. We forgot about him. Poor guy. He's been dead for a bit. The brontosaurus stomped him to death. He wasn't really all that important as far as dinosaurs go. So. All right. Pickaxes on wings a little bit. Um. <laughs> No, uh, so, Bopo Stop, I've got a, a green screen and a, a video camera and a programming software that allows me to put my face on the screen so you can see me as I talk. Hey, Dylan, how's it going, Mr. Blackburn? Glad to see you in chat. Alrighty, still going strong on it. Inventory, so we got a little bit more wood, and we'll actually have all the wood we need. A little bit more wood. Like about a hundred more. Hey, Footy Legends, welcome back, man. Glad to see you. Maybe a day in the Ark would be quite the adventure. Oh, it is uh, it is quite the adventure, Dylan. It is quite the adventure, man. Uh, we, we have fun playing Ark. It's it's really good. It, it's it's kind of just chill, veg-tastic. Uh, of course, as you can tell, Dylan, I'm wearing the green shirt, so my head kind of floats like Max Hedrum. Your brother likes dinosaurs? That's cool. That's cool, man. I like dinosaurs... Um, one of the things I say all the time in this game, though, is that, you know, 36-year-old me disappoints 5-year-old me because I forget half of the dinosaurs in this game. Their names, what they're like, what they were like. You know, when I was 5, I was all about dinosaurs, though. Oh, your brother's 4. That's cool. Uh, yeah, usually about 4 or 5. That's about the age where dinosaur enamorment happens for uh, any kind of kid. Dinosaurs are cool when you think about it because, I mean, they're these giant, like... You know, kids like pets, uh, um, you know, and that's cool. I, I'm, as an adult, I like pets too, but for different reasons why I wanted one as a kid. But if you think about it right, what is cooler than a 14-story foot tall pet? Uh, your mom does not. Uh, well, you know, your mom may not like dinosaurs. You know, my, my mom didn't care for them. My dad was okay with them. Um, my mom liked the Land Before Time movies. You know, those those are different though. Oh, there's another Moss Chomps. Um, if he wants Medjo Berries, we'll give him some Medjo Berries. 
I doubt we'll find another Moss Chomps that wants Mecho Berries, though. That was kind of good with that. She likes your dad. Well, most moms and dads like each other. Uh, that is absolutely correct. So what's this Moss Chops doing here? He's, he's, he's having fun. Valdarkas, the actual scientific names are used. Yes, this is very true, McAdoo. Uh, that is both a cool thing and a bad thing because I uh, my scientific knowledge on dinosaurs is lacking uh, at this age. Uh, being older, oh, there is... We will absolutely drop, like, all this wood to go chase these. Oh, there's two of them. Where'd the other one go? No, you don't. All right. And we'll get to the other corpse wherever it went. Your dad plays dinosaurs with you. That's cool. We will absolutely slow walk and bid. Uh, is that another trilobite? Oh, that's another trilobite. Okay. We're going to uh, have to kill that one too. Oh, that dropped Black Pearl. Oh, nice. Inventory. Drop this. T-Rex Rar. <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's one of the ways to play it. That's one of the ways to play it. Um... There's my package right there, and we are going to go over the hill here back to our base. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If we get attacked by something, our spear is so low, it's about to break. We probably can't even get to the boss chops. All right, Moss Chops, what you going to eat? What you going to eat? You want a rare flower. We don't know where the stuff for the rare flowers is still, so... Oh, well. All right. Moving closer. It's all about getting to this base, guys. He is 15 and wants his phone? Okay. We'll be here, Bopo. Don't worry, man. Is there anything we can put in here to kind of ease our weight a little bit? The meat, sort of. Let's just walk a little faster. All right, so. Let's drop here. Put the wood in. All right, so we should have, that's 9, 12, 4, 450. So we got there. Oh, that's all right, man. No worries, Bopo. No worries, dude. All right, let's go drop some of this stuff off. Put it in our storage bin. And... <laughs> well, you can do whatever he's doing, man. No worries. I mean, if he's nine, he should be uh, able to get back here if he wants. We're not going to force you to stick around. But if you want to stick around, we have no problem with you being here either. All right, so this is animal stuff. Stuff that we get out of animals goes there. 
awesome rock stuff we don't want to put that in there yet and garden stuff put some berries and spoiled meat all right so now we just got to get like 600 stone and and uh we should be done okay uh water is clever dude water is clever And look at all these wild triceratops, guys. And, and you can tell they have mated pairs because they have the actual hearts above their head. It means that there's a boy and a girl dinosaur that are... And they get extra damage that way. So that's that's uh, that's pretty frightening to have to take on one of those. Uh, Bopo, stop. Um, if you know what uh, Minecraft is, uh, you know what Ark is. And the, the little kid that was playing with you said he loved it. Uh, so you you probably uh, know what it is too. If not, it's a survival crafting game where you basically have dinosaurs and you have to tame them and get off the island, basically. Kind of like a interactive version of Lost, almost. You hate that game? <laughs> yeah, Minecraft's not for everybody. Minecraft's not for every. This is kind of a more adult kind of version of it. You dislike, yeah, you know, nothing wrong with disliking a game. You know, games aren't for everybody. Like more realistic, yeah. Uh, that's just the that's the easiest way to describe it. A lot more tactics, a lot more skill involved. Hey, man, did, you, did I see right the fed symbol above the wild trikes? Not just the hearts. Uh, just the hearts. So you you missed. It wasn't the fed symbol. I, I wish that was what it was. That'd be kind of neat if they could eat, like, out of your, your... If you knew if they were fed or not. Eat some more meat so we don't wind up starving to death. And let's see. There's a pterodon right there. We don't have any need for those. We still got two of them tamed. I am hot, but I'm not roasting yet, so we should be okay. I really do miss the otter we had tamed. Uh, playing on PC, Bopo. Uh, it is available for P PS4 and Xbox One, though. So, um, it's, you know, all the current consoles bit Switch. And it's, it's just as good um, in a lot of ways on consoles, this particular game. The one thing I would say it does not have going for it, though, on consoles is the, the mod. There's a huge mod community for this game. And that particular community is available mostly on, on, place, uh, on PC. A lot of their mods do get ported over to the console version, but it takes a while. Same thing with patches. That, that's kind of the thing that happens, though, in this particular um, sixty dollars I think is the retail price on it, and when you get it on sale, you can get it on sale for like thirty. Uh, it's been on sale as low as twenty here lately because they had their anniversary come up. So if you just kind of scout the deals, you can find it. And it's also one you can probably get fairly good used. Um, I would think. Uh, when I picked it up, for instance, I picked it up for like ten bucks, and it was um. Uh, it was on Supercell back when it was early access, though. J Splash Official, hi! Welcome to the channel, man. I am encumbered. Alright. There's, yeah, yeah. We still can move a little bit, but we probably want to drop um, some of these stones. Uh, we might be able to move semi-well. Nope. Okay. Split stack amount. Let's say drop. What? Ten more would drop us five stones. So seven maybe. Three point five drop. Can we move now? 
Not really. Oh, well. Oh, thanks, J Splash. Really appreciate that, man. I, I, I try to, you know, I, I try to be chill and laid back and stuff like that. And brain fart. I'm trying to remember what I was thinking about. Oh, thanks, McAdoo. Really appreciate that. Um, let's see. Oh, thanks, Bapo. This is... I shaved it mostly down um, in November. Every year for November, I do no shave November. I shave my beard all the way off. I shave my goatee off. Whatever I have at the time, I shave down. And I grow it all the way through November. And I keep it as a full beard, like full-on Chris Kringle. Uh, just myself if they don't watch this. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, it... it People have different likes, J Splash, so we try not to just be myself. Yeah, that's that's how I go about it, man. I got the TLC patch almost three weeks after PC on Xbox One. Yeah, Josh, that's that's just that's the one thing about console versus PC that's never going to go away for primary PC games. That's the specific point, is primary PC games. Um It's gonna take so long to get to our secondary base. I really wish we had a a, di a Dodicarus. It'd make this a lot easier. But I don't know where they are on this map. I've never played on the island map, so... There's our there's our second base, though, so we'll be able to use that as the way station. We'll probably keep everything built in this second base, because uh, you never know. You never know. When we build the Behemoth Gate, though, guys, it should level us up to 38, I hope. Um, no J-Splash, we're on PC. Um, that's a... Oh, for a second there, I thought that was a flying Triceratops, but it's not. We've had a flying Brontosaurus once. It actually got up on a tree somehow. Charger doesn't work until the second you go to unplug it. Oh, that's sad. Tiger. I've had that happen a couple times. Oh. Triceratops, get out of my way. We're almost where we need to go. Almost where we need to go. Okay, so put the stone away. One, two. So we're getting there, guys. We're almost to the the actual frame. And I looks like we still got enough space to hold everything we need to hold. So there's that. That's that's sweet. Drop these in there because um, that's still working. Okay, we got about six hours, so that'll spoil by the end. Well, first piece will spoil before the uh, end of tomorrow's stream, guys. But we'll have both those pieces for this stream. All right. Hey, here's some stone just right up here. But yeah, um, Jay, the thing that we use the Xbox for the most these days, uh, we bought a new one, brand new Xbox One S, uh, with the slim model that they had on sale for like, it was like 200 bucks. Uh, that's too good of a deal to pass up in my opinion. And we, we picked it up. Uh, we've got the PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, you know, we have all the consoles. and But we've looked at all the games that are on Xbox, and they're just not really our speed for the stuff that's current. Nothing wrong with the Xbox, you know. I, uh, I'm i just a, a PC preference guy. Everybody's allowed to have a preference. Kind of like what you like to eat, right? Um, but we've been playing a lot of Game Pass games on Xbox One. Uh, that's why we usually stream on that. Uh, we don't stream on Mixer. Um, Mixer seems like it's kind of cool, but I, I don't feel like I need to stretch my bandwidth like that, and I don't feel, feel like I need to stretch my community. Oh, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? On stone, we are approaching our next 200. Okay, cool. So, Turtle Club, I'm hoping at the end of the stream today for ARC, which is about another half hour, we will have the gate built, and we will be 38. That's that's kind of the goal we set out for today. Um, 
and we got sidetracked. You know, I have shiny squirrel syndrome. Things happen. I, I absolutely decided to go after and do stupid things like, you know, try to tame a brontosaurus and get killed and get a dinosaur killed and get the brontosaurus killed. So that kind of went, you know, really horrible. Um... Please don't hit the Triceratops, because we don't want to make it mad. Alright. We're getting there. We are getting there. That's oh, just a Pterodon. Alright. I'm hot. All right. I am once again entering Katy Perry music territory. Hot and cold. Up, down, yes, no, all those other all those terms. Um, hmm. I guess we just kill this thing for there. Dodics can spawn along the redwoods, and I find them in anchors along the beach at about 40 lat 16. All right, so 40 16. Yeah, you're trapped in this wood. We'll just kill this ducky. Her Hercleo Diaz Gracida. Hello. If I did not pronounce that well enough, I apologize. Uh, English is my native tongue, and I uh, tend not to do well with it to begin with, so... Alright, so we... Is that a Pego that's about to get killed by all those things? Okay, that's cool. Alright, so... 40 latitude and 16 longitude. So, like, my latitude and longitude is just not working for my brain right now. So, that's, like, in the upper, like, if I was pointing to it with my hand, it'd be somewhere, like, right around here. Um, I'm guessing. It, it's more on the y-axis than the x-axis is what I guess I'm trying to say. Hundred and fifty? Way cool, way cool. You said your name hundred percent correct? Oh wow, okay. Well score one for me today. I uh I don't always get them right, but when I do I feel pretty good about it. And I got a lot of uh de detriment. Um I'm from Oklahoma. And then that you know, that was kind of a strike against me with being able to pronounce things correctly. And then on top of that I moved to Georgia and that didn't do anything much for me being able to pronounce things correctly. Going to run just right across this section here. All right, here is our Pegomastix, also known as the Bank of Berries. Hello, dude. What you got? Nothing. Oh, we're going to have to fix that. Take all your seeds away. Take away all your seeds, and then you're going to have to start getting seeds. Ha. Huh. All right, so let's see. I was hoping to find more rocks, but it looks like we're kind of like running out of rocks. When you're trying to build something out of stone, it's not good to run out of stone. Um, it's easy to run out of stone. Most of these survival crafting games, it's like stone and metal. You know, that's it's one step above wood in most cases. They usually are where it starts to go bad. Well, that just was a swallow of water. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. Tinto berry. Hey, I think we got some tinto berries. We sure do. Are you male or female? We, oh, cool. I don't know if we're, you are male or female. You are female. Okay. So we are going to... Go to options, change name. We got Davy and Davida. 
All right, and DeVito's following me, so we need to give old DeVito some meat because they eat meat, I'm pretty certain. Um, maybe they eat everything, though. All right, and there's Donna, which is always a good indication that we're getting close to our base. Okay. We're going to pet Biffy and Buffy. Um, another female moss chops. And what's a rare mushroom? Okay, well. We don't want that. To, that would be one cluster, just everybody kill it kind of moment. Not really looking to do that at this moment. All right. While we're here, do we have any flint? Because I'm sure... Oh, no, it's not flint that we need. What do we need to repair this thing? Stone. Uh, sadness. Okay. All right. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got just another... Oh. What is that, Turtle Club? 450, basically, to go. We may or may not get our stone requirement on everything here. But we can do this. We can do this. We can at least craft the first behemoth thing, the arch. Oh, I'm glad we looked at that because we're like 100 short on wood too. And that is how many weight? That's only 4 pounds. When we show this, guys, when we actually pull this thing out and place it, you're going to be like, there's no way that's 4 pounds. If that's four pounds, then I'm like, you know, three. But, you know, this game, uh, it, it's neat how it, you know, bends physics, I guess. Uh, Terry killed something. Top left of the map, just below the snow biome. Okay, cool. I, I don't know where the snow biome is, but now I do. So that's that's what it is. So 40 is the... Alright, so 16. Alright, cool. So we got longitude and like latitude. Lateral and long. Okay. I used to know things like that back when it was like important for me to you know, learn things and, and be educated and Past school stuff. And had to read maps. You know, that's something that people just don't do anymore outside of video games. And inside of video games, map terminology doesn't get used as a lot. Is, is you know, things like, you know, coordinates. Me and my sparkler going through the forest of dark. Killing things, people, trees. Well, no people. There there are no, in Solo Arc, there are no other people. All right, and, all right, we are getting closer. Um, actually, we got the, we, we over, we over forested, guys. We got more than what we needed sad. Oh, and somebody's got to level up over here. Or that's just their, their buff symbol. I forget which. That's their buff symbol. Oh, actually he's got to level anyways. All right. Wait, what happened? Oh, I, I, I picked up a dodo. I didn't mean to pick a dodo up, and I'm glad I only hit the, the floor. I almost abused my little poor dodo. Alright, let's unduck. I was like, what happened to my torch? And that's what happened to my torch. I picked up the dodo like a, more like a dodo. So, alright. 
We definitely have all that we need now. Now we just need the stone. Hello, Davida. Um, you're here. Um, Terry the Dawn. And Davida. If you're over here, Davida, there's a good chance. Yep, you, you actually harvested some stuff. So you guys come over here. Um, let's just go over here. Everybody just settle down. Let's go get Davy, because Davy's all the way over here. What did Davy kill? I don't know what Davy killed, but he killed it, that's for certain. And this is kind of another reason why we're trying to build the thing we're trying to build, guys. So we can get these guys kind of pinned up and out of the out of the public way. All right. Are you you are Terry the Dawn? Stop, land, go away. We badly need 38 so we can put a saddle on this guy. Settle on these things and just be able to just park them where we want them. Um, you. From a distance, the Parasaur looks just like a tickle chicken. Never forget that. Never forget that. In the dark, everything looks like a tickle chicken. There's a crystal not far from you, but a flyer is best and safest. Yeah, we, we, are, we are definitely grinding the 38 for that reason. Hello, Carby. Wow, you have um, you have some some armor points. And I heard your I heard your friend coming up beside you. And you are mated, actually. Ugh. Oh, this spear's about to break on us at the most inopportune time, Turtle Club. We're going to have to repair this spear. Yep, there it is. Way inopportune. I'm tired. Stop moving. Um, this dino decides to stop trying to eat me. We, we might. Had to strafe around the turtle. Because, yeah, that just happened. Alrighty. Now we're back to doing what we were doing, guys. Lat is vertical, long is horizontal. Okay. Lat, okay. Longitude, latitude. Got it. Uh, for now, I got it. <laughs> I'm hot. Yes. Back in the jungle area.
That wasn't a rock I could break, that was one I already broke. Congratulations, Ferrisaur, you're going to be unstuck in a little bit. He'll never be stuck again, Turtle Club. He'll never be stuck again. All right, let's see here. Now, what was really cool is over here, we actually had an otter spawn yesterday. And that was super cool. Um, I've never seen an otter in this game. I've been playing this game for almost 300 hours. Never seen an otter spawn. Um, that was that was. Where are you at? There you are, Pego. Hey, well you know we took all those berries away. He learned how to hunt. All right, now you can go back to hunting. So once he once he has a food source and he's got it, he just won't even bother with it. Okay, so we are definitely running out of rocks. Which is kind of unfortunate. Jumping, hitting. Now we couldn't fly on top of his back. Oh well. Yeah, that's a that's a fish hunter. We will eventually get one of those. Wrong direction, Mag. You keep wanting to go to this base because you got it in your muscle memory. All right. All right. So that's not an egg. That's not an egg. But we do need it. So put the stone away, put the pike away and the axe away and repair both. Hopefully we got enough for both. Shadow! Hey, man! Thank you for that actual super chat. Guys, get some hashtag shadow going on. Really appreciate that. Always appreciate you popping in shadow and actually supporting the channel. Can super chat from mobile now. Oh, cool! That is uh, that is an a update that YouTube has needed for iPhone users for a while. Um, and for, I believe, Android users as well. I don't know if they had both the same issues or not. But I presume they did. Okay, put the metal there. Those we don't need. Those we don't want in there either. One, two. We have enough to put some in the thatch bin. Okay, so we can go ahead and do this. And craft all. Oh, we had some leftover berries in there. Wow. I think the math works on that, though. Yeah, the math actually almost works on that. That's cool. Almost being the operative word. Let's just grab that. Put that in there. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate you testing that on my channel, Shadow. That that's That's super awesome, man. On iPhone consider is it an in-app purchase? Oh, that's interesting. That's good to know, though. Um, I guess it needs to be kind of tagged that way, though, because no one wants their kid running up a huge bill on YouTube. Oh, that dodo just said, here you go, and then walked away. All right, so we're still looking for some stone. We're gonna we're gonna be stupid because we haven't seen any. Oh, let's not be totally like duncey. Let's just be stupid. All right, stupid would be you know just going off to where we're about to go and getting things. Duncey would be leaving our poking stick on our ax here. Um, okay, so there's a trail right there. Hey Jordan, how's it going, man? Go across the water. I 
Oh, there's actually there's actually some rocks in this water. Why haven't I? Oh, because this water is dangerous. That's why we haven't been doing things in the water. Uh. All right, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna force ourselves to have to cross the water. Basically, that's the dumb thing we're about to do, guys. If there's all this untapped rock over here. All this untapped rock. And for those of you guys that are kind of stumbling in right now at this error, my name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. Hey, Demon Huntress, thanks for popping in. I stream Ark Survival Evolved, which is our series called Mag vs. Wild, every weekend morning uh, being Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for me um, for at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We stream for two um, streams that are three hours long and one stream that's six hours long. The three-hour stream is currently what you're watching. We'll be ending this in about nine minutes. And the six-hour stream is tomorrow morning. Uh, we kind of like to get our Monday going for everybody. But don't worry, if you're wanting to see more content today, we do have more content lined up. At 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we do stream Majora's Mask on Sundays. That started on the Sunday slot this week due to uh, real life kind of being the way real life does. All right. Well, there is a wild Triceratops walking up our ramp. That's kind of funny. Ugh. At least it's accessible for everybody, I guess. Is this rock? This is actual rock. Sweet. Alright, we should probably have like 200 stone. Oh, 250. Even better. Even better. And we're still, we're not over encumbered, but we're getting sluggish. One of the next things we'll probably do is we will probably build us some kind of bridge across this little ravine. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Shouldn't be too hard to do. All right. There's that Ovi we keep thinking we're going to tame at some point. And it looks like we're going to get right where we want to be with our actual gates and stuff. I'm tired. Yes, I'm tired of being told that I'm tired, though. Grab some rocks on the pass. Hey, Davey, I don't think we can jump. Oh, we still can jump. Good to hear it. And... Nothing there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Rock, rock, rock. And all we need is about another 120 rock and we'll be done. We'll be able to put the doors and start working on the fence. The fence, of course, guys, will start working tomorrow. Um, kind of feel like Bob Villa when I play this game sometimes. It's like, hey, today on this old base... We are going to stay away from the manta ray. Those things are dangerous. They will absolutely kill somebody. All right, and out of the water we go. And that looks like an OV that's basically running for its life. Of course, OVs just run because they're crazy. So there's that. Alrighty. Uh, here's another rock. For a second there, I thought that was... Uh, a spino fin. We got really lucky that we got a spino trapped in the the uh, terrain earlier, so we could kill it. Had we had the stuff to tame it, we would have done that too. 
But it was either him or us, guys. And that was where we kind of got to with it. So we're at 43. Yeah, we are starting to get jungle roasty. Something's eating nearby us. And it's to our right, whatever it is. Hello, little compy. Hello, little compy number two. See where we're at for our stone. We're at 130. That's actually more than the 120 we needed. So let's go get this built. We used to have a Pegomastix over here, but I'm pretty sure he died. I think his name was Bait. If I remember right, we we tend to name we tend to name things that we figure are going to die uh, really quickly. Bait or annoyance. Uh, mainly just because it's just our disdain for the animal in question. Let's kill us a uh, catfish real quick. That thing is going to be real hard for us to kill. It. We will kill it eventually. All right, so. We're about to build our last thing, guys, and we're going to get it placed down before we quit. I I am getting a little hungry, so... And unfortunately, I'm one of those guys that can't just eat a Snickers bar. I, I can't eat peanuts, so it's... It is what it is. All right. Behemoth. Door. And this should also level us up. We're about to have all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, oh, really? Wow, okay. That's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Mm. All right, so we got those two pieces. Okay, guys, so. What's this moss chops want? Is this the one that wants the rare mushroom? It is. We'll let it stay alive. Okay, so. We are going to. Push six for the behemoth gate. And that's going to be K to get us out there. Scroll out. So see, guys, what I was talking about. This thing, the game says it weighs four stones. There's no way this thing's just four pounds. I mean, it just doesn't even happen. I mean, that's just like, my goodness. But I think think we're going to put the gate um, that's actually above so we're going to let it ride down we're going to rotate a little bit um, I think this is where we put it guys And then seven. So here we got our huge, ginormous Jurassic Park gate. I mean, you know, you know the scene where I'm talking about. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I mean, look at this. And of course, we can't get that looted. There we go. And then it will automatically, well, it won't automatically close it. We will close it when we're done with it. 
And yeah, it's it's a little off kilter because of the water here, guys, but nothing should be able to get underneath it. We're going to put a couple of foundation pieces here. We're going to kind of wall this off with another behemoth gate. Oh, look at the little colocanth. But yeah, GG. It's uh, yeah, Thank you for the GG on that, McAdoo. So that, that guys, is like a massive amount of materials. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be building a, a fence from that. And we will probably... Actually, I think we might have some materials left for that. Not enough, though. Not enough. Uh, foundation. Thatch. We want to do stone, though, if we could. Because stone is so much better. But yeah, guys, so this is where we're going to be calling it today. Uh, so we got this. These things here are not going to be able to just stomp through this right here. That's that's the pertinent part there. So we're going to be crafting the foundation. We're going to go like three foundations in. And then lots of foundations out. All the way up to the water. And that should be mostly level. So we shouldn't have the same problem we had earlier. And this is where we're going to be kind of placing our dinos. I mean... The smaller dudes, like Biffy and Buffy and all the Dodos, we'll be building like a little pin here. We should be able to put like fence foundations in between these, I think, and some actual fence posts. And so we'll have like a little mini uh, Dodo pin. Um, the design or the goal I have in mind is this whole entire place under here will be filled with Dodos, like lined with them. But that's going to be for tomorrow, guys. That's uh, something that we won't be doing today. Uh, let's go ahead and put our stuff away. All right. So in here is all of our pre-built stuff. None of that. Wood stuff, which is, of course, wood. And plant stuff, which we have none of. Animal stuff, which technically these are animal stuffs, as is this. Rock stuff, which is anything that we get out of rocks. And this is also animal stuff. Wait a second. That's not... That's a seed. That doesn't go there. Garden stuff is where the seeds go. So there's all that. Oh, we are so close to leveling. Look at this. So close to leveling. Oh, man. Let's see if we can just make some narcotic arrows. Because that would be a really good way to end. Is getting on one of these actual pterodons and being able to fly onto the roof. I think that'd be fun. All right, let's see here. Can we, is there, should there, no narcotic pots there, but, oh, there's 91 here, and all of our arrows are in the crafted bin. Oh, we still haven't emptied these out yet either. That's all crafted stuff too. Um, yeah, we're holding three boats. There's no way that we can walk with three boats. Two, one boat maybe. And can we get all that? Yeah, we can. Sweet. I guess we can also climb this real quick. We could probably level off the narcotics also. And like I said, guys, we'll probably keep the gardening center over here. Because gardening is super important. Oh, wow. We have so many narcotics we're getting off of this. Enough to where we're, like, encumbered now. Let's see if we can just uh, grab some spoiled meat out here. We're so close to 38. I mean, that's that's just the goal. That's been the goal for a while, is to get back to 38 so we can kind of kind of feel like we're back to being, you know, like a real boy. Um, craft 29. Here we go, guys. We should level off of this. We should level off of this. We'll be happy if we do, because we should level off of this. And there's our level up, guys. We will level up our weight. And then... Here it is. Tear it on saddle. Refertilizer takes way too much stuff. But we have the tear it on saddle. 
that's still crafting away. We still have so many of these to craft. Awesome. All right, so the Pterodon saddle, we won't be able to make here because all of our materials are in their base. But, but we got it. Oh yeah, it was so close. We're just like, oh, we have to, we have to, we have to. So tomorrow we'll be able to start like getting crystal and stuff um, and other important things. Alrighty, and crafting, Terry, we need chitin, fiber, and hide. So plant stuff is absolutely where we get hide from, or fiber. Animal stuff is where we get chitin and hide. And we need more hide. Sweet. Um, does this not consider this like an internal structure? That's weird. I understand it not considering when we're there, but it should consider it. Okay. That, that's okay. So guarding stuff, put that away. Crafted stuff is all the way down here. So crafted these. And technically the narcotic pots as well. Wood stuff is nothing in our inventory. Plant stuff is fibers. Animal stuff. All right. Rock stuff. Gardening stuff. And that leaves us with just the saddle, right? All righty. And grab these off our bar. Well, it definitely doesn't consider us indoors because it didn't fill up our water skin. That's, that's, huh, okay. So now we're going to get on Pterodon and that's where we're going to end it, guys. Hey Donna, how you doing? You got 154 weight, and where is your? I was gonna say smarter half, but there's Terry. 176. All right, boom. Terry the Don, look guys, we can fly again. It's so happy. So happy, so happy. I thought I could land on top of these, but I guess not. There we go. Sweet. And this is where people like Terry the Don will go and... All right, and what does Terry have? Does Terry have any kind of food? No, I don't have any kind of food. Oh, well, let's get back home so we both can like have food. But now we can like land them on top of the base and all sorts of cool stuff. So, all right, now where's the food? Yep, free flying. Now I'm free. All right, fill our stuff up with five pieces. All right, well, guys, I'm about to go have myself a, a, a good meal. Um, you guys absolutely have a good morning, a good evening, a good lunch, good dinner, good breakfast. Whatever you guys are about to have, Turtle Club, this is Mag Synchro saying have a good one. Take care, and we'll see you for Majora's Morning Muffin. If not, maybe Sunday Skyrim with Digrat or more Mag vs. Wild. Peace out, guys.